Another agency targeted for cutting in the proposed budget is the Federal Emergency Management Agency. But emergency responders told the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee today that those cuts could threaten their ability to be prepared for a disaster. Cronkite News DC reporter Anthony Marroquin was at the hearing. To cut the pre-disaster mitigation funds, I, that's whistling through the graveyard. Or to put it another way. Not going to be any more floods, tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions. Don't worry about it. Uh, and by the way, don't call the federal government. Because help may not be available, witnesses at a House hearing said today, pointing to a proposed budget that would cut funds for state and local governments for preparedness, staff, emergency training, and supplies. Help from the government that people have come to expect after a disaster. The expectation that we've already established is that the government will come. And experts fear they may not be able to keep pace with the needs of their communities in case of a disaster. We really need to move to a more proactive model. And that means shifting dollars um, to pre-disaster mitigation. The cuts are part of President Donald Trump's first budget proposal, which reduces federal emergency management agency state and local grant funding by $667 million. We are proposing a budget that will shrink the bloated federal bureaucracy, and I mean bloated, while protecting our national security. The panelists agreed, now more than ever, it's important for community members to be aware of the hazards in their community and to be prepared for at least three days of isolation. Don't fall back on or be comforted by um, what is available to you day to day, um, because that might not be there. In Washington, Anthony Marroquin, Cronkite News. Republicans say the budget proposal is only the start of the budget process and that things could change in the future.